to you in the studio. Wolves, confirming your prejudices. The Ark shall save the innocent. your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just... I want you to do something besides sit there eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Uh, bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine. Let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach, and I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Uh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat start. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with... Shit! If I'm hanging with you and listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuckface? Push me! You're driving. Oh no! You're driving like a psychopath, Michael. Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God. You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human being. No, not unless they're a spick or a stew boy or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a from a sense of competition. Witty, really? And mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do. And you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people. <laughs> Relate to my asshole, old man. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. I'll take this one. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. Oh. Hey
It's like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Fuck. Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. No, it was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's yeah, go. If those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, cool, man. Hey, you. What are you doing? Hey! Ah, man! I like that! What's your problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! It's okay. I'm taking you back to your brother. I'm an accessory to murder. No, you're not. You're 
accessory to self-defense. Have I, like, got to be a witness because I, I, like, did some blow? You did blow? Yeah, I did some blow, and that might, like, make my testimony inadmissible. You're not admissing anything. There won't be a trial unless you're on a trial for doing blow. After you ruined my day, stole my friend's shit, capped them, and I'm the one on trial? They started it. And we wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't hung out with some creepy-ass portal people and done blow. Ugh, you didn't know I did blow until I told you I did blow. So this should be like an increase in trust and honesty thing. And portal dudes are like the best dudes I can be with. Okay, he smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cab. Coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Where there's no ocean. 